I'm sorry. Uh, is, go ahead. Is, you talk about executing that's something that uh, Coach Mullen said, uh, Kenning has said as well. What, what is it specifically when you guys talk about that that you know isn't being done exactly right? And from the impression I get, it's you know it's very close but just off kind of things. All it is is everybody doing their job at a high level. Mm -hmm. uh, if they doing their job at a high level, then um, big plays will happen. Uh, we'll make get more points on the board like that. So. Mm -hmm. Basically, we just we, we and that's what, that's why we practice. Um, practice. I feel like practice make perfect. I mean, obviously nobody's perfect, but still, I mean, practice is gonna gonna help you get ready for the game also. So, um, and everybody every day, everybody comes to practice motivated um, at a high level, executing. So just make sure we care though to the game also. I mean, is it things like you know maybe uh, a block is you know just a, a, a little late or maybe you see the hole a second too late. Yeah, like I mean, I, I know a lot of times myself. Um, I missed a few holes um, that I, and then I have to get better at that. Um, that's why um, Coach Knox is, he's been practicing with us a lot with uh, finding the hole, make sure we keep our eyes open and things like that. So we're going to get better at that also. The logic is is that with LSU's behemoths, they have a defensive line, there won't be that many holes. I mean, you've got to be able to find them. Uh, yeah, um, I hear a lot of, about their defensive line. I mean, I know they're a great defensive line. They're a great team also. But I feel like we can get some things going on the ground too. And you think, you know, if y'all can just get back to scoring early like you did for a three, four game stretch there, that just obviously sets up everything to, to get the game plan on track. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. We, we need to start fast. We start fast and um, keep our defense, keep them off the field. Um, they'll be great for us. I mean, because we know that we can pound the clock um, and we can also throw the ball too. So yeah. just keep, try to keep our defense, keep them on the sideline more, um, let them rest a lot. What do you remember about Tiger Stadium and what makes it different? All these other stadiums you've been at? Um, it's very loud. That's that's the main thing. I, I just remember from going from going there. I think like two years ago when I went there, it was very loud. They got a different type of chants. Um, they have a great atmosphere, really, and their fans are very energetic, and they are very involved. Also, is they call Tiger Bait, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I remember saying uh, the the tiger that they have when you come out. Yeah. It's a big tiger. But that was kind of scary. Weird. Yeah, it was it was different. I, it didn't scare me anything. It just was different. When expect a tiger. Yeah, either. when expect you don't expect to see a tiger when you <laughs> walk out. It's kind of hard to simulate that in practice. I know you try with the music and the crowd noise, but it's kind of hard to really you know simulate what what the reality is there. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard, but we we our GAs and staff they do a good job of helping us prepare for that with the music and all. But like you said, it's gonna be different come game time. Yeah. Um, crowd level is gonna be to the max. So basically, we, we've been practicing on that, and I think we're going to be able to execute like we should you know, the crowd. You talked about uh, the big defensive line, but I guess on the flip side, maybe encouraging to see Alabama's winning play was a pass through running back. Yeah, I've I, I seen that. It was pass to, I think, number four. i seen him catch the ball and get into the end zone. So, But it kind of, I, I watched the game, and I feel like Mailers, you had a lot of chances to win. But um, Alabama, being a better team, they came out on top. Um, they executed like they should. Um, LSU had a few misplays. Mis they tried to onside kick, didn't get it. They tried a fake field goal, didn't get it. But all those things come back and hunt you, too. Do you guys see some potential there in the passing game, especially you know with you and the other running backs out of the backfield against LSU as a way to maybe get around some of those linemen? Yeah, we still we we put in a lot of for the game plan this week. Um, just different things. We're gonna do a lot of base things we've been doing all season because uh, the running backs have been catching the ball out the backfield. We're just gonna keep doing what we've been doing and uh, and execute it to the highest level. If everybody do the job, then big things will happen. Big plays, like you said. Um, make sure we stay on blocks. Um, can't miss blocks by that much. Got to make sure we stay on it and stick and find the holes also.